But peace is another aspect, manifestation of the divine, that we can tune into. And the description that Yogananda gives of peace is, to me, such a nurturing, such a um, feeling of connectedness, where he talks about peace being like a weightless waterfall. Isn't that image already the experience that you tune into just hearing those words? It just feels, rather than even visualizing the waterfall, the feeling of that spray, of that peaceful embrace, that peaceful connection that you're imbued with. But find the points throughout the day where peace becomes an active engagement, where you come to the stillness with your soft breathing. You come to that inner realization from attunement to that sense of the cessation of turmoil, of just that relinquishing of the tensions and being in that deeper relaxation. Calmness, Yogananda said, was slightly different than peace and a deeper, a deeper vibration, a deeper level that peace is. Where calmness is that untouched experience where you're unshaken by the challenges in life, no matter what happens. That we have the depth of that experience pervasive in everything. But again, to engage in that, to not to rely on it, hopefully coming to you at some point, because circumstances uh, come together to provide the outward setting for that. Don't waste that time. Be in it now. Feel your calm. As Master said, Yogananda said, be even-minded and cheerful at all times and retain that calmness as your bottom line. Don't let things ruffle you. Or if they do ruffle you, because likely all of us have some things that will ruffle us still, catch it right away. Perhaps that's even a greater lesson than thinking you can remain in the calmness Come to the point of calmness immediately after you are ruffled and disturbed in your calmness. Be there. Feel that, again, with your sensitivity, your openness, that that grace that comes from the Guru and God is there for you as calmness.